everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess if you're new here and today I am going to be starting my series on my skincare awards series. I don't really know exactly what I'm calling this right now, but I want to let you guys know all of my favorite products that I use this year. So in today's video, we're going to be talking all about cleansers and that's first cleansers. So the ones that help take off your makeup and then second cleansers or also your morning cleanse that just is a really good water-based cleanser. So let's get right into it. Sorry if I sound a little bit different. I've been kind of struggling with a cold. It's that season. I feel like it just hit Michigan. Like all of Michigan has the same sickness. But anyways, that's not what this is all about. This is about cleansers. So let's talk about it. I'm going to try to insert a clip here about of all the cleansers that I tried out this year. And I do have a lot of them. <laughs> And I can make a more extensive review on different cleansers. So if you see any of those cleansers that you're interested in hearing about or a brand or something, um, then definitely let me know in the comments below. But what I'm going to do is I took all of those cleansers that I have, I tried out, you know, probably about 20 different cleansers this year. A little crazy. Um, <laughs> but I tried out a lot and so I have I decided to do kind of a award system So I'm going to share with you um, the, Why I like these three products and um, just let you know if I had to choose just one Which one would be the winner? So I'm going to start with like I said first cleansers and what first cleansers are great for is removing your makeup It's kind of the first thing that you do at night is you want to take off your makeup or if you didn't wear makeup And you just wore sunscreen, you know, it, this helps take off your sunscreen. It's an oil-based cleanser or a cleanser that's designed to break down your makeup and um, oil-based products. So first one actually is a micellar water and I tried out micellar waters this year for the first time. I actually kind of stuck my nose up at them. I don't know if you've watched my other uh, first cleanser video. I didn't really have any micellar waters that I tried back then and about mid-year I decided to try one, um, Bioderma, and I really liked it. I realized they actually have a place for micellar water in my routine. So this is actually the simple micellar water. It's their um, water boost micellar cleansing water. This I just bought about a month or two ago at Target and I'm really glad I picked this up because it's really big, it's really affordable, and it really works well. <laughs> so those are all good things, right? And what I um, purposely use my cellar water for is actually taking off my mascara and if I'm wearing like heavy eye makeup. Even like the, the what I have on my eyes right now, it may not be heavy to most people, but it's something that I don't really want to be like smeared all over my face if I'm using a balm or something. And so what I do is I wet a cotton pad with a micellar water and I will just hold it onto my, um, you know, closed eye for a while. And this just melts everything away. It doesn't burn my eyes at all. I wear contacts. I don't feel like I have super sensitive eyes, but because it is the simple brand, there's no fragrance, there's no dyes. And so it's really great for, uh, I just realized it doesn't burn my eyes. Another great one is this Hamish All Clean Balm. Uh, one of my first videos I made on my channel was comparing this to another balm that I'll mention here. And this is a solid uh, balm that's made up of different oils and essential oils in it. And it's a Korean brand, Hamish. So you can't really get it at like Ulta or Sephora or you know at your grocery store. Um, you do have to get it at a um, online store, but it's not really hard to get that. They have, there's iHerb and all of the different stores have it. It has like a little spatula inside here, which is really nice. And then it has a little compartment here with, and I'm almost out of this actually. I used it all up this year. It's really nice. It doesn't burn my eyes. I really enjoy the scent and it really does remove all of my makeup. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. It's kind of a classic. I'm not really sure who came out with the first cleansing balm, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was Clinique. So this is very similar to the Hamish All Clean Balm, but it just doesn't have a, the nice essential oils inside, so this is really great if you have sensitive skin. Uh, I, I like the Simple brand. This also doesn't have any fragrance or dyes or anything in it, and you can get this at like Ulta, Sephora, uh, Macy's, you know, places that carry Clinique. I really enjoy this balm. It's a little bit thicker. Uh, it was really hard to decide, um, even when I did the battle of the balms, which one I really liked better. And it really just depends on, um, I guess, your preference on if you like to have essential oils in your skincare routine if you're not super sensitive to that. And so with all that in mind, the winner for the first cleanse is the Hamish Take the Day Off Balm. 
if I had to just choose one, I would know that this can take off my um, my mascara really well and my eye makeup, but it also I know that it would really take off all the rest of my makeup. And I just enjoy, if I have the time, I do enjoy giving like, you know, a facial massage as well. And so this has a nice slip to it. It's just definitely it has a place in my heart and, and I did give this first place. <laughs> All right, now for second cleansers. So like I said before, second cleansers are something that you usually would apply right after your first cleanse, and this is to remove the excess oils that may be left behind from your first cleanse, or if you just want to um, have a cleanse in the morning, or it just um, helps to lay a good base down so I know I'm not trapping any of the dirt and the sweat and things that accumulated over the night. So all the second cleansers that I tried, I have three that rose to the top for me. And the first one, I'm gonna talk about is Derma E. And this is the Derma E Hydrating Cleanser. And so I got this, I think mid-year or so, and I was trying to find something that was really similar to the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser, but that um, was more, just not as lotion-y, but still very hydrating. I do like the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser still, but I definitely like this one better. So this is a great hydrating one. Uh, it has hyaluronic acid in it. It has a slight scent to it, but if you know Derma E, they don't add any fragrance to most of their products actually. Um, and so this is, I think, a natural scent. It's just kind of a clean scent. I really enjoyed using this in the shower for my first cleanse. It has a little bit of the foam, like little bubbles that it will create, but it doesn't have any sulfates or anything that are actually creating the bubbles. This is also, you know, cruelty-free, GMO-free, gluten-free, soy-free, and Derma E is, has just risen to the top in my mind for for drugstore skincare brand and so I really really enjoyed this one a lot. The next one is another drugstore brand that I really love and this is Andalo Naturals and this is their coconut water firming cleanser and this has a pump that creates the foam and this has a nice kind of minty scent to it. And this is really quick as far as washing your face goes. If you just you just need one pump, the foam is there, you just rub it on your face and you're, you rinse it off and you're done. You don't have to like work a lather. It just seems like a really, really click, click. It seems like a really quick cleanse and I enjoy it for that. It, it is, does say that it has hydrating properties to it, but I don't feel like it leaves any greasy residue behind or anything like that. And the third contender is Youth to the People. This is the green tea and spinach and kale um, vitamin cleanser. And this is just a tiny, tiny little sample. I actually even had a bigger sample that I used up this year. This is a high-end cleanser but it is just a really nice one. I'm gonna try to explain it to the best I can, but it is thicker, but it's not greasy. It's not too like sticky or anything. It just really works nice and it smells like a really nice, like health food type of smell. It has like that kale and spinach smell to it. And I really do enjoy salads and you know, being healthy. And so it's just kind of nice to know that even though you're washing most of the ingredients off, that maybe if you do, if you know, some of the kale can get into your skin and I don't know, it's probably silly to think that, but um, I just really enjoyed this cleanser. It definitely rose to the top in my head when I was thinking about my top favorite cleansers. If I only had to choose, you know, three, <laughs> um, this would definitely be one of them. But with all that said, I if I could only choose one, I would choose Andalou Naturals. This is an uh, awesome <laughs> little cleanser. I just like it because of the ease. I am sometimes, you know, in the morning, I don't have a lot of time to wash my face and get ready. And so as a busy mom, I like to just know that I can pump this and rub around and then rinse it off and I'm done. And also the fun foaminess of it. It's just, it's just my favorite and this won a first prize. <laughs> So that's everything for this video. I hope that you enjoyed and I hope that you know this little award system was fun to watch. Again, let me know if you want to see any other reviews or anything even broken down even more about cleansers, anything this year. I'm really excited for 2019. I'm kind of going to um, just try to make really good quick reviews <laughs> for you guys and hopefully that will be really useful for you also some brand overviews and whatnot but I am going to be continuing this series hopefully even into 2019 um, just because of my schedule and everything we'll just probably be um, covering all of my favorites for the next few weeks now so I hope that you'll enjoy that and I hope to see you back so definitely remember to subscribe if you want to continue to see this series and um, be a part of my little skincare YouTube
YouTube beauty family. <laughs> I hope that you guys have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.